fashion at all. We do any, everything uh, by hand. And also in the, the new plantations, well, not so new, they have 20 years old with the steps, one or two rows. There it's possible to use a machine, but only to spray. So what I mean is that here in this region, in Dole region, I think when we talk about machines, it's a, it's a, a very uh, specific way of talking because it's only to do the spraying. It's a little help for the treatments or for a little bit of herbicide we can use and anything else. We always speak on hand because with these inclines it's very difficult to, <laughs> to use machines. The old vineyards, we have everything blended in the vineyard, we do an average and then we pick all the grape varieties blended but we separate it by vineyard, by plot and then we vinify it separated by vineyard and we keep it separate until we do the final blend just before bottling. So this is the first part of the fermentation room. Um, all our grapes, like Mariana told you, they are picked in 24 kilo cases, hand-picked, mm -hmm. and they are all brought to here, where outside that door we have a sorting table, and we have normally four people there uh, sorting out all the grapes that are overripe, unripe, or that we notice it has any sort of disease. Mm -hmm. It stays outside, right. outside yes. the winery. And then they go to a crusher and the steamer, and then they are pumped mm -hmm. here. So mm -hmm. all our grapes are 100% percent this stem. Mm -hmm. Only the berries enter, enter the lagars. And these are the tra traditional granite stone lagars that were normally used to vinify port wine, but we also do it to vinify our red wine. For white wines, it has a, a problem that oxidation. Uh, in a white wine, uh, you want to keep the color as, as much as you can. So because it's a completely open press, you have to protect it a lot. So we use a lot of dry ice to keep the oxygen off the grapes, but it has to be a very quick press. Although we have the grapes separate in, uh, in the vineyard, we don't vinify them alone because they don't, ha don't produce enough quantity to ferment by itself in a lagar or in the vat. So it's a, it's a blend of those varieties in the fermentation. We har harvest them separately, but then in the fermentation, all the grapes come together. So the Vinha Nova, it's a blend of Toriga Nacional, Toriga Franca, Rufet, Souzão, and Tinta Francisca, five varieties. Um, and uh, they ferment separately, and they, are, they, they age separately in the barrels. Um, in average, uh, they stay in barrel between 16 to 20 months. And only after that, we choose uh, which plot is going to, to enter the wines we, we are doing the blends for. Uh, this wine is, this is Quinta Valdona Maria 2008. And uh, Quinta Valdona Maria wine, and it's the wine that most define us as producers because all grapes come from the Quinta, are in this location, this terroir. Uh, and it's where we have the, the big cocktail in terms of varieties. We have 41 different varieties. Um, in very, very small percentages, probably the highest uh, in terms of percentage that we have, it's Rufet. It's not the normal Toriga Nacional or Toriga Franca that normal people have, although we have them also in the blend. And it's uh, in terms of terroir, it's 100% uh, schist slate. And in terms of exposition, it almost all the plots are south faced. We only have one plot that's, that's east facing, all the others are south faced. So in terms of fruit, uh, in terms of, of style, it's completely different from all the other wines, uh, red wines that we produce. Um, um, it's a wine that normally it's very, very, it's very spicy, spicy notes to it, very fruit, red, mature fruit. You have also a lot of raspberry flavor notes to it. And, um, and it's a wine that it can age for a long, long time. The first uh, year we made was 96. Um, and uh, I never tasted the 96, but I've tasted 98, and it's still a beautiful wine. So we know they, they can age, and that's one of the things that we try to do. Uh, very, very good wines, very high-quality wines with huge drinking potential, 
and that's worth the money you're buying it for. So, um, and it's, uh, it's done and uh, fruit trodden, 50% is fruit trodden and 100% fermented in the granite stone lagars, and the other 50% uh, fruit trodden, but fermented in stainless steel. And this wine uh, aged 18 months in barrel. You can use a little lighter. Yeah.